adolescent. A young person, usually between the ages of 12 and 18. I remember our teacher telling us that it was an adolescent phase that people outgrew. Characteristic Typical of a person or thing Timidness is a characteristic that gets fighter pilots killed. Trait A particular quality in someone's character. You that clown that's always trying to talk yourself out of every situation, no matter how deep you in it. That's a bad character trait for a cop. Okay. Apprehensive. Worried or nervous about something that you are going to do. It was a PR job, and I was apprehensive of her reaction to Mimi, who tended to upstage every other woman in sight. Assertive. Behaving in a confident way. Clumsy. Moving or doing things in a careless way. Oh, clumsy me. I dropped my fork. Boys, help me pick it up. Cynical. Believing that people are only interested in themselves and are not sincere. You know, you pass yourself off as cynical people, but you still have some faith in the system, don't you? Desirable. Worth having and wanted by most people. Truth. I'm worried that my changing body may make me less desirable to my partner. Eccentric. Strange or unusual. Yeah? Who are you pretending to be? Bruce Wayne. Eccentric billionaire. Egotistical. Thinking that you are more important than other people. I mean, it's pretty egotistical of you to think you can protect us all, isn't it, Chris? Gullible. Easily deceived or tricked. Noah, would you say that I'm gullible? Idealized. Regarded or represented as perfect or better than in reality. I knew then that our love was not some idealized state, but a union of secrets and flaws. Inconsiderate. Not caring about other people or their feelings. I'll tell you what I think. I think you hide behind all these disguises so you don't have to face the fact that the real you is an inconsiderate jerk. Yeah, it does. Indecisive. Not good at making decisions. My friend is a little shy and somewhat indecisive. Yeah. 
self-assured. Having confidence in your own abilities. I remember when I first met you, what impressed me so much was how self-assured you were. Self-absorbed. Only interested in yourself and your own activities. So I feel like I'm living with a totally self-absorbed person who writes this stuff for a bunch of complete strangers. Self-centered. Paying so much attention to yourself. I think they're vain, stupid, and incredibly self-centered. Self-congratulatory. Praising yourself or saying how well you have done something. Neg did tonight, you might think they're good. Some, some upper middle class, NPR listening, lazy liberal bitch, self-congratulatory, insulated, never been through anything in her life. And Self-deprecating. Trying to make your own abilities or achievements seem unimportant. We see someone in power or a political leader, we laugh because self-deprecation is our first gear. Self-important. Believing that you are more important or have a higher value than other people. So William Lucas, for instance, is a very agreeable man, <laughs> and a good deal less self-important than some people, half his rank. Tactful. Careful not to say or do anything that could upset someone. Uh, now, normally I'd be sending Derek on this. So be tactful if the subject comes up. Well adjusted. Emotionally healthy and able to deal well with the problems of life. If I had a normal family and a good upbringing, then I would have been a well adjusted person. well-bred coming from a family that has a high social position either an educated man such as a doctor an educated or... man that's preposterous no well-bred man would do this well brought up a child who is well brought up has been taught to be polite and to behave well Outwardly, I was everything a well-brought-up girl should be. Inside, I was screaming. Well-dressed. Wearing attractive and stylish clothes. Your typical homosexual male will be in great shape, well-dressed, wearing sandals, holding a brightly colored drink, and listening to Celine Dion.